Okay, so this is the first of three videos we're going to go through showing you how to use the nav bar uh, in your iOS, iOS applications. I'm starting off with a single view project template. And I'm going to go ahead and add a second view controller to the storyboard so we can navigate between these two view controllers. Uh, let me expand out a bit here so you can see, oh, too far, a little closer there. Oh, Okay, to separate out these two view controllers uh, and put them side by side. So we're going to want to be able to click on one in a button in one view controller and go to the next view controller and navigate back with the navigation controller. I'm going to go ahead and put a label in this first view controller so that at runtime we can see which view controller we're looking at. And I'll center this here and then just go ahead and make this called view one. And then in the second view controller, I'm going. Oh, let me first add a, add a button so we can go between the two view controllers here. So this will be go to two, and that's a button we'll click to go to the second view controller. And in the second view controller, I'm going to add a label, and we'll call this view two. And for a good measure, I'll add a button here, which would take us back to view number one. So go to one. OK. Now, if I select this first view controller, I can easily embed this in a navigation controller by going to editor embed in navigation controller and you can see then what it does then is add this navigation controller to the scene uh, to the storyboard and then embeds my first view controller into that navigation controller with that relationship you see uh, which is the arrow between the two uh, scenes there you also see in the view controller it's added this navigation bar at the top of the view controller to let me know that it, it expects it to be within a navigation controller. Then I'm going to click and drag, control drag over from the go to two button to the second view controller. And when it's released I can select what kind of uh, segue I want between the two of them. And I'm going to select push. And you'll see then it creates this, it does two things. One, it creates a segue between the two view controllers, which is this connection here. And in the attributes inspector, I can go ahead and, and if I wanted a different uh, style for that segue, I could go ahead and select it here if I wanted to change that. Um, and I can also add an identifier above there. And the second thing it does is add this navigation control uh, bar to the second view controller as well. So, now I've got this, these two view controllers uh, operating within the navigation controller, and if I run it right now, you'll see that the view one will show up. Sorry, the view one will show up uh, when the, whenever the simulator starts running my app. There you go. And I can click on the Go to 2 button, and it'll push View 2 uh, into that view controller. And I also get, automatically get this nice back button that I can click. And when I do, it'll take me back to the first view controller, and the back button automatically disappears. So that's some nice functionality you get automatically with the UI navigation controller.